Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I'm here with week 17 of Marguerite Miller Challenge, as well as I have a piece of ephemera um, from my idea book that I want to kind of mass make some and then decorate, um, and then decorate. So let's get started. Let's say hi and hugs to Donita, Jamie, Diana and Heather, thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. So I appreciate y'all so much. Okay, so let's get started. I think first thing I'll do is take this out. It's just a little bit easier to work with. Maybe I don't need to. I think I don't need to on this one if it, if it pans out the way I'm thinking. Okay, so what we have is something round, and I'm going to use these, um, this, a doily. Then we have a piece of a map, and I actually have a splatter paper that I did from a map. And so I'm going to use that. A shoe, got the shoe. A tool your grandparents would have used. I grabbed this picture. I think I'm going to use this. I grabbed it out of one of those old Sears catalog things, you know. So anyway, I think the harness on the horse, my grandpa worked on a ranch. So I'm pretty sure the harness on the horse was something that he used. A postal item. I have this old envelope and I think I will use it as a pocket to put in my uh, prompts. And then one of the elements torn apart. So I have a couple of doilies over here. So I think I might end up tearing that apart. So that's, that's my plan. That's my plan. Hope you all are having a good Wednesday. Ugh, let me grab my ruler. Um, I am so far so good. Had a lovely visit with my daughter. Uh, the one in Denver. Oh, they're at such a busy time in their lives with teenage kids and everything. And so, you know, sometimes we go way too long without having a, a, a chat. I'm going to, I think, leave the Sears and Roebuck. I kind of like that on there. Okay. So what I'm thinking about doing first is like putting, putting this doily on like that and I think I could just fold it over oh look there's doilies on that page that's so funny okay so do I want it down a little bit I don't know I think I'm gonna just kind of lay this out and see if it's gonna work I was thinking of having this on top so maybe that could go high and then this here not a lot of the doily is going to show but I'm going to tear parts of it and I can put it on top okay I think I have a plan in mind so yeah I started off the day um I had a little bit of time to watch a video that came up because I I was interested in the subject. I hadn't heard about this. So I'm actually gonna link the uh, video that I watched below. And it was Jessica Rapp at Two Silver Oranges. A lot of you probably um, are subscribers of Jessica's. Anyway, um, she was talking about, apparently there's kind of a movement to boycott Etsy or something because Etsy is starting to, um, is going to raise their fees again or something. And I'm going to attach the video because Jessica s said, she said everything that I feel. And um, I don't know that I could say it any better. So I'll have you, you know, if you're interested, go ahead and watch that. But apparently it was... Um, spurred on by the thought that people were going to boycott shopping on Etsy. Well, that's just going to hurt the sellers. You know, I, I, 
I don't agree with that because it will hurt the sellers. I mean, if you're a seller and you want to um, leave Etsy and start, you know, selling through your website or whatever, that's a whole nother thing. But for shoppers to boycott Etsy, I don't, I don't like that idea at all. Um, and not only for myself, but a lot of my Etsy pals, their Etsy store is their income, you know, and if people boycott it, that's, that's only going to hurt the little guy. It's not going to hurt Etsy. It's going to hurt the little guy. So I hope you'll think twice before joining in on that and watch Jessica's, um, Jessica's video. Sorry guys, this is just not sticking very well. I might have to put some, um, what you call it, art glitter glue on it. There we go. I think that's okay. Okay, let me get this on there. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I feel, as Jessica does, that I, I just feel grateful, so grateful for Etsy and YouTube because it allows me to do what I love to do and, um, and, you know, supplement our retirement doing that. So I, I have nothing but gratitude <laughs> for, for Etsy. The other thing, and, and Jessica, as a, again, she, she's much more eloquent than I, but, um, Etsy does so much. I mean, when you're a seller on Etsy, you don't have to worry about a bad credit card. You don't have to worry about um, this This person lives in a state with sales tax and how do you how do you get that where it belongs to go, you know, in their state and stuff like that. It's just all taken care of. And Jessica mentioned too, it cracked me up because I feel the same way. She did crafts shows before and I've talked about it on my channel before that doing the craft shows a it's a ton of work packing everything up hauling it there unpacking it and then at the end of the show repacking it it's physically super demanding and the older I got the harder it was so um so there's that and and the fees I mean the fees could be as much as two journals for the table. So it's like, so you sell three journals at a craft sale. And I, I've talked about this before, at least where I live, nobody knew about junk journals. And so I spent the entire time um, explaining to people what, what these things were that were sitting on the table. Whereas Etsy, you have the exposure of the whole world, you know, and prices are going up everywhere. You know, it's just, it's the effects of COVID, the war, all that stuff. So, yeah. So anyway, prices are going up everywhere. It's not just Etsy. And um, I don't know, I just kind of... Okay, I think I might put that there and then like kind of tear the tear this and put it someplace like maybe right here would be good. One of the elements torn apart. So you can see it. It's there. It's there. It's not super obvious, but it's under there. That's the round element. And this will be round too. So that kind of maybe I'll just do it right about there. Yeah, so anywho, um, I didn't know this was happening. I don't know. I don't know where I've been, but I did not realize people were upset and all of that stuff. So, so then that kind of covers up all my splatters. So maybe what I'll do... 
I'm just going to tear this up and have it be torn on that edge. Yeah, I'm going to put that right there. The gluing on um, doilies is not for the faint of heart. So anyway, all that to say, I appreciate Etsy and I appreciate YouTube and I appreciate the people who have shopped on my Etsy so much. So, um, so yeah, I don't know. It's, I think I'm going to put a little bit right there too. So, um, so anyway, yeah, like I say, if, if somebody doesn't like that they're um, increasing their fees, that affects the seller. Well, it affects customer too because usually the sellers will raise their prices to accommodate. But <clears throat> anyway, enough of that. You can watch Jessica's. I just wanted to address it and say that I agree with everything Jessica said. And um, and I have no problems. I am just grateful for the opportunity that Etsy has provided me and others to, to do what they love, to supplement their incomes and all of those things. Okay, I need one more spot of a bit of, maybe I'll do, I'll do right there because I really like that black splatter right there. I don't want to give that up. Um, so, if you haven't heard about it either, then just, and, and don't care, then that's fine too. I just, um. I didn't want to not address it since Etsy is such a big part of my life and I appreciate it so much. Okay, well, we've got our elements on there. Let's put that on. Oh, man. I think this doily has a little bit of plastic in it. I think that's why it's not wanting to stick very badly. a little bit of this kind of glue under there and see if that helps. God, that one's stuck on my finger. It's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's that. And then what else? Oh, I had such a disappointment yesterday, guys. We were supposed to go to Missoula for my granddaughter's track meet and we got way there and oh my gosh it was snowing like crazy and so it was like we're like do we continue what do we do well we just decided as I've said before two old people on the on the road in the in the middle of a snowstorm is probably not a good idea so we turned around and came home but darn I was Disappointed. I really wanted to see my granddaughter do her thing, but she did good. She said she got, I think, second place in the hurdles. And I think their relay team got third place or something. So she did well. But that was that was a bit of a disappointment yesterday. Okay, so that feels very simple, but But I got everything on there. Um, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm going to take some of this spotty paper and maybe put it in those two spots. I feel like it needs a little something. Splatter paper, if you will. Yeah, I like that better with a little something more there. Okay. 
So, yeah. So, anyway, we ended up being home. So, what did I get done? Oh, I, um, I made some digitals, which you will have seen on Sunday on my Etsy share. And... else did I get done? I think of really what I did yesterday. Oh, I mass made some stuff. I had I had done a video on um, I did a video on Patreon and I decided to mass make those. So I did that yesterday too. Okay, I'm going to put that there too. I don't know. It just Kind of helps tie in this a little bit better. Kind of like washi tape, except it's paper. Kind of like washi tape, but not. <laughs> okay. I think I need a little glue on my heel and my shoe here. There we go. Okay. This is bugging me right here. So, this shoe reminds me of my grandma. There's pictures of my grandma that she's wearing a shoe similar to that. So, that's good. I wonder if I have some words or something. Something, oh, how about just had a thought. I've got some round, kind words here from, oh, here it is, from the Sweet Shop Scraps. Oops. Yeah, I think since we were supposed to have something round, and my round doily's practically covered up. I'll do that. Okay. Then I think I'll feel happy. That spot was bugging me. It was... Just needed a little something right there. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to the project after this, too. I think it'll be kind of a, it'll be relaxing for me and get some more ephemera prepared. It's always a good thing. Okay, so there's week 17. We have something round and then the doily underneath, piece of a map, a shoe, tool your grandparents would have used, postal item, and one of the items torn apart. We got it. Okay, cool. Alrighty, I'll set that back there to dry. And meanwhile, what we're gonna do, and, sorry, gosh, I keeps fallen over. So this is a wonderful little item that Carrie the Crafter shared with me and it's a piece of coffee dyed paper just folded into a tag shape and then decorated. So I want to make a few of those. So your your paper, I folded this one already. So all you do is fold your paper in half and then in thirds. And I try to line up this side. And then you just cut it into a tag shape. Like so. So we'll do a couple of them. Fold it in half. And then I just eyeball the folding it in thirds and what I do is I just kind of fold it over and then 
slide my first page over as far as it will go, so that's a little too much. So I think about right there should work. And then this one over the top. So yeah. Yeah, Mike went to the grocery store this morning. I had my big visit with my daughter and then came down here. I've been, for days, I've been drying out some coffee dyeing. I did some tub coffee dyeing um, just here in my craft room and I just put the tub under my heat vent that is up above and um, And it does it does a pretty good job. So there we go. Pull that up a little bit. Uh, so I end up peeling off, peeling off, peeling off <laughs> day after day of the because it it's not like in the sunshine where it dries in an hour or something. Nope. Takes it days. So yeah, I've got, got a few more pieces here to fold. And then we'll do some decorating. Um, I'm going to save the one for the We Folks journal that I'm working on. And But I thought maybe we could do... Now what's nice is having these, um, you could just kind of put them in your to-do box and um, do them as you're working on a journal and have some ephemera from a kit or something that would, would work on that. Okay. So, it's kind of a thin piece, but I think it'll be okay. Well, then one more. Sorry, I zoned out there. My brain was <laughs> thinking of something else. You're probably like, well, this is exciting. I'm watching her fold paper and she's not even talking to us. <laughs> oh. Okay, movie recommendation. Probably a lot of you have seen it. But if you haven't seen the movie Blindside with Sandra Bullock... Man, oh man, Mike and I watched it the other night. We'd seen it before, but it is so, so good. What an uplifting movie and a true story. So that's one that we watched the other night. And then last night we watched one called, and both on Netflix, um, one called The Imitation Game it was so interesting. It was also a true story. Or based on a true story and um, oops I guess I don't want those over there and it was gosh it was something that I mean I learned some history with it um, I am going to use a couple of pieces of this paper or a piece of this paper or something on here Ooh, that's a good one good colors um, and then I'll decorate this one in my next video on my We Folks journal, because, oh, it's got a bad word right there. Oh, multiple bad words. Well, that's, 
summer. I maybe could cover them up, but I don't know if I could. Well, how about this side of the page? Cheesy peasy people. Why do you have to do that? Okay. Okay, yeah. Doesn't seem like there's any bad words on that one. I'm just going to put that on there in preparation for, because um, there's lots of really cute little, um, 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 fussy cuts, little people, little people that Amy drew and mushrooms and such. So we'll decorate that up, but that one will be for that. I'm just going to put this on. This is a bumpy piece. It's kind of got some, like, modeling paste or something on the back. And then these can go in your journals as a tuck spot, or you can stick it in just like a tag into a pocket, and then the whole thing folds out. You have both sides to, so it could go on like that, and you could glue here and here and have it be a, a tuck spot there. Or you can just put it in a pocket, and then it folds out for lots of extra journaling space. Okay. So that one I'll set aside. Okay, let's do, let's see if we have, perhaps, you know, my my drawer of misfit toys, <laughs> my drawer of stuff that I need to use up. Let's, let's play with some of that, perhaps. Let's see, what do we have? book belongs to. That's so cute. I need to use that. That might be kind of fun as a, oh, it has to go this way. It's directional. As a background, it doesn't show up very well though, does it? Let's see what's in this bag. Pretty. Too wide though. Oh, this is pretty. And those could go on there. And here's another one. Oh, there's three of them that go up and down. Okay. Something in here. Okay. The box. The box of stuff that has random stuff that has jumped into my life <laughs> and has not jumped out. Oh, I do like these though. Those would be good for my um, some of my spring journals, I think, that I'm taking to the retreats. Let's see. I want something behind it. I'm just thinking about what i wonder i was wondering if i'd have like a piece of leftover rice paper or something that would look pretty behind you know just give it a bit of an anchor i like that Gosh, all of a sudden I have a little headache starting. Isn't that craziness? Um, my arm is sore. Yesterday I got my second booster, which was awesome. But And I felt fine. 
just a little bit sore arm, but I'm kind of having a headache. Maybe it's just because I'm hungry for lunch. I don't know. Ooh, isn't that pretty? That's pretty all on its own. It's kind of sad to cover it up, isn't it? Hmm. Put it down. Put that up a little bit. Nope. Up. Put that down a little bit. It's just going to be what it's going to be. Let's just do it. And I'm using a bit of scraps too, which is always good. Okay, I'm going to kind of line this up on this edge. Somewhat in the middle. And this, I think, needs a little <laughs> This, I'm so excited for this uh, stick of glue to be done. It is so sticky. It's the one that was in my travel bag and I haven't used it in years and it's just, it's a little little on the I don't know. It's, it's not good, let's just say. Not almost too sticky if there's such a thing and then I'm going to use and put that there and then I'm going to use something that I just got okay um, and that is this, Nouveau Crystal Drops, adds dimension to craft projects. Dandelion yellow. There's nothing more appropriate for spring than dandelion yellow. Okay. I think I have to shake it. Test before use. Dry flat for 48 hours. Wow. Okay. These are going to be sitting aside for a while. <laughs> okay. And I just want, I want to put some spots on it. Do I want them on this? Do I want them on this? Hmm. I want them on this. And they're kind of like um, liquid pearls. Okay, so then I'm going to do my flap flap. Just flatten them out a little bit. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. I do think I'll make these two up, but just so that I'm not too repetitive, I think I'll move on to something else. Um, have this little bit of Scrap O paper. Okay, I'm going to put that on there and then I don't even know what else. I just felt like doing a little bit of decorating today. You know how you just kind of feel like that's what you want to do. I think tomorrow we'll be able to finish up our little Wee Folks journal. I think so. 
I mean, we're pretty close last time. Just have a couple more pages that needed something. Ew. Yeah. You know, man, this glue. But I refuse to waste it. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Ugh. Let me get a. I'm gonna get a wet one here. Gosh, it's sticky. Okay, so I feel like I I want um a flower like a die cut or something. I don't know. I don't know what was in here. Okay. I think I'll take this box to my July retreat and see if there's things in there that others would like to use too. I'm gonna look in here, but I may just, yeah, I want like a flower or something. Oh, I might use this on the next one. Ah, I just, just lost some of them. Okay. Okay. Like. One that's my now that is stickers okay I'll find the right book here I think it's this one yeah so there's some die cuts in here I don't know if there's any that I want to use on this but let's see Oh, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Yeah, let's use that. Okay. Ooh, geez. I almost set that on my Nouveau drops. Let's get you up and out of the way there. That would have not been good. <laughs> Hope you're having a good week midway. I think next week, well, oh, I have a dentist appointment next week. I mean, the week when you see this, I have a dentist appointment. The week that, or the day that you see this, I have lunch with my friend Sandra, which will be fun. We're trying to, she's the one that moved in couple doors down and we're trying to do lunch every month that's that's our goal it's so easy to lose touch unless you actually get stuff on the calendar I find I don't know um, I mean a month can go by and you're like oh gosh it's crazy Just flip this down. Might have to cut off a little. I think I will. Let's see. I need a need a paper towel. Snip off the bottom, and then it needs a little word saying something. I'm going to see about this one.
I'm going to use that because it, it kind of got cut off for whatever reason. Probably my, my bad printing. And so it's flat on that side. So let's just, let's use it to our advantage. Let me put the lid on this. want it down a bit. There we go. Um, and would I like to put some little spots on this? I think I would. There we go. There's that one. I think I have some pinky liquid pearls the name of this one's ballerina that's pretty fun Something over here. Okay. Then this one, I'm going to smack it too. Yeah, that one's cute too. Okay, did that that over there and we like to do on this one. oh I was gonna see if there's something in here that I could use envelopes these little tags I don't remember what shop these came from guys I'm sorry this is kind of my hod podge um, bin and so I don't always know. I want to say new vintage art or something like that, but I'm not positive. I think I want to put a book page kind of on the side of that. Let's see what might be good. I don't like to use the ones that are in signatures. I like to put those in a journal. So I'll set those over there. Maybe all of these are in signatures. Okay. Dig down further. <laughs> okay, let's grab this one. that will be good just right there now if I can remember where I put it I think right about there ish maybe we'll put a bird on this one Okay. 
cake. Gosh, I sure slept good last night. I was wondering if it was because I got my my booster or something. Because I just really slept good. I love that when that happens. You usually only hear about it when I sleep badly. But, <laughs> yeah, it was a good one last night. Okay. Some kind of birdie. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Okay, that was easy. Yes, I like him. Get those little white spaces. So, see, he's a he's kind of a pop up kind of a guy. But I'm going to put glue on him just to make sure he stays put. I like getting all the little sticky outy things so they don't rip off. Okay, take some down here. Where it's going to be. <laughs> I was trying to move it over a little bit. Nope. Stuck. Okay. What about I'm just into my using my little dots today. This would be pretty, wouldn't it? Okay. I don't want these to become one of those Forgotten Friday supplies. Okay, I'm going to whack it on the side of my... There, they're down pretty well. Okay, so there's that one. Now what? Um... Look in the rice paper again. Rice paper scraps. My watch is telling me check your rings. I've been sitting all day because I sat while I was talking with my daughter. Ooh, there's a good piece. begin with that anyway. Well, that wanted to be there, didn't it? Let's just put that right there. Yeah, it was really lucky I hadn't started my video quite yet because I always put my phone on airplane mode. So I was happy that I got my daughter's call before I started. Oh, isn't that pretty? I love that one. Um, hmm, I'm seeing one in my little bucket here that might work. Oh, it covers up so much of it though. No, I don't want to do that because it covers up too much. Um, Just a little flower. Mm -hmm. Some are definitely too big. It's a cute 
cute little thing. Hmm. Put that over to the edge. Hmm, let's see. Then maybe I can put a bird on there. No. Nope. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. So... There's this pink one day down here. That might be nice if I cut out that middle part. Gosh, I should look at my watch. Okay, we're doing okay. I was afraid that I skewed my reach. Goodness. It's just so relaxing that I'm feeling too relaxed. I'm forgetting to talk. Oh. Sorry, that was fiddly. Yep, I cried like a baby watching The Blind Side the other night. Love that movie. Can you imagine having Sandra Bullock play you? I wonder if that lady was like completely starstruck, the one that, <laughs> the one who she was depicting. I'm just trying to make this more spindly so that you can see through it on the piece. That's my that's what I'm after here. So I didn't quite get this all the way cut out, but you know, sometimes I like to leave that so that it doesn't get crushed in the bucket of flowers or a leaf broken off or whatever. So. I'm excited tomorrow I'm going to the vintage market with my friend. That'll be fun. I don't know. Not looking for anything in particular other than, you know, old documents or something like that. Okay. Well, that about took our 10 minutes, didn't it? <laughs> Gosh. Uh, let's, I'm just going to kind of try to get the edges a little bit get rid of this white that little leaf right there wants to break okay Oh, that 
It's cute there. Okay. Okay, and then like some little something up here. I'm gonna grab a pink monarch here. Isn't she lovely? I'll put that right up there. Ooh. It'll be fun to have these just ready to go. I need to do some work in my to-do box. Goodness sakes, I couldn't fit another thing in there if I tried. It is full, 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 full. There, there's that one. Let's let's put some pinkies on there. And let's put some at the top too. like I'd like the green in there too so where could I put that you almost stuck my finger in that one come on Gail don't ruin it now Alrighty then, what fun. <laughs> oh, it just makes them, oh, that one, look at what it did. That's not good. Okay, wipe you off. Gotta redo, gotta redo here. It's kind of like pick up on aisle nine, redo Gail's craft room. My tra trajectory for my whacking wasn't quite right. There we go, that's better. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what we did. We did four of them, that's not too bad. Um, I wanna try and do those other two too. Maybe I'll do that after lunch or something. Okay, so there's that one with its little little happy pearls. There's that one. There's this one with the die cut. And here's this one. So, and all of those, just to remind you, they are a lot of extra journaling space. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for crafting with me. I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video. Bye.